Do you yield? Yield. 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 Welcome back to another dazzling clay creation. In today's video, I'll be creating the penguins of the Super Mario Bros. movie. You know, I never thought the penguins that we all kept dropping off the side of Cool Cool Mountain as kids would have formed a <laughs> kicking kingdom together. No, but seriously, what are your theories on these penguins? Like, where do you think they came from? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, for this creation, I'll be making the king and four other warrior penguins in all different poses and expressions. To start, I created a bunch of same size parts that I'll be using to create each penguin. I'll be squishing their round heads onto their body and making a little swoopy on the back of their heads. After that, I'll flip the penguin's body over to shape the legs and the cute pointy tail. And I'll do the same for all five penguins. To make each fin, I rolled out two cone shapes and flattened them down and placed them on top of each other. The first penguin I'll be working on is the one who is holding snowballs in both fins. The fins are curved downward and he has a serious rage look in his eyes with a regular closed beak. The second penguin I'll be making is throwing a snowball, so one of his arms is up and he has an open beak. The third penguin I'll be making is the one who is screaming his head off before heading into battle. Honestly, he's my favorite one. His arms are balled up with rage and he's screaming his head off so I'll make his beak open very wide. The fourth penguin I'll be making is the one who is throwing a big snowball. And you could tell it was really heavy for him. The fifth penguin I'll be making is the king. I'll be making him in his pose where he's pointing at Bowser's army to send his troops into battle. He has determined eyes with an open mouth and teeth showing. It's kind of weird to see a penguin with teeth. Next, I'll create their feet using a cookie cutter. Using it to cut the edge helps create the web shape. <coughs> now I'll be adding the final details to complete these penguins. Back to the first one, I'll attach two snowballs, one in each fin. I'll also add a large snowball in the fourth penguin's fins. To finish the screaming penguin, I'll create his battle gear. I'll cut out some brown straps to wrap around his body and wrist, then I'll create his belt buckle and shade it using silver eyeshadow to give it a metallic look. Lastly, it's time to work on the king. For the king, I'll wrap a sheet of clay around his back to create his cloak. 
I'll cut off the excess and etch in some lines to give it some texture. Next, I'll create a thicker piece to wrap around his neck and shade it using eyeshadow. The last step before baking is creating the king's crown. I drew a small crown shape on a piece of paper and I'll cut it out to make a stencil. I'll place it on top of a thin sheet of clay and cut around it. Next, I'll stick on the small round ball details and use a rustic golden eyeshadow to shade the entire crown. Now I'll roll it into its full 3D shape and connect the edges and crown this king. For the final step, it's time to bake all the penguins. <laughs> now that the penguins are complete, they can defend their kingdom. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make next. And don't forget to check out my other dazzling clay creations already on my channel, and thank you so much for watching. See you next time.